Hello and welcome to the second episode of the Borough Report Match Day Vlogs. Today we're away at Drolsden and as you can see the facilities are looking great considering the rain. It's third versus third team uh, here and the Borough are looking to get really back on track after a tough couple of fixtures and heading out of the cup on Tuesday. Uh, should expect changes from the squad on Tuesday as John really wasn't happy with the side uh, but hopefully we'll grab the three points and move towards promotion. <laughs> Okay, so we just got some team news here at Drollsden. The Radcliffe team to face them is uh, Oliver Martin in goal. We've got Kingsley William at right back and Mason Fall at left back. And at centre back, we've got Callum Grogan and Matty Carr. In the midfield, we've got Scott Metcalf, Tundi Olave, Matty Crovers, Elliot Rocker, and Prince Haywood. And then up front, we've got Ben Wharton. I'm sure that'll chop and change throughout the game. Um, four changes from the cup exit in the week. So, uh, what do we think, guys? Yeah, I think it's going to be a very tough test today. I mean, Drollsden are a very good side. Uh, four changes, as you say, um, from the midweek game against Mossley, the defeat. I thought the manner of the defeat midweek was was poor from a Radcliffe point of view. Uh, to go 1-0 up and then go in at half-time with the break, 3-1 down, I think you know the questions are going to be asked there. Mackin did ask the questions of his own side in the, the press, press conference afterwards, post-match interview. Um, to get back in the game, I suppose the reaction, there's always going to be a reaction, I guess. Um, Tundi, you know, top scorer this season, he's always going to come for the goal now and again. But I think as a team as a whole, the partnership between Grogan and Lacey this, this season has been excellent. In the past couple of games, as, as, as when I spoke to Callum midweek, he's said, you know, a bit shaky, it's it? a bit shaky, yeah. I we mean, without Lewis Lacey today, so it's going to be a big miss. Yeah. Matty Carr's going to have to step up, really. Um, and there's a few changes, like formation wise, we've got uh, Scott Metcalf moving back up into the midfield, moving onto the left wing, and then um, Sunday Olavi more than likely be on the right or up front. They cause problems for a lot of teams. Uh, Scott with his crosses and uh, Sunday with his goals, as you mentioned, and it's just a matter of time before it clicks. Yeah. Oh, Okay, so it's all over here at Drollsden, it ended 2-0. The Borough managed to keep their half-time lead. Goals from Ben Wharton and Scott Metcalf uh, sealed the win, basically. It was a really great team performance after what what was a disastrous one on Tuesday, really, to miss out on the, on the cup final. Um, a good performance overall, what do you think, Danny? Uh, from the Borough Report, Danny from the Borough Report with me. Um, what did you think of the performance overall? As you said, you know, it was a disaster on Tuesday. A big disaster, really, in terms of the, the form that we've been showing. It sort of topped off everything that, that's been happening over the past couple of weeks, you know, without a winning five. Today, we got that today. Again, very solid performance at the back. Huge reaction, no, wasn't it? Massive yeah. reaction, no goals conceded today. Um, of course, Ollie Martin, his 14 or 50 clean sheet and season, I think that is. Yeah. Um, but today, more than anything, we went down to 10 men, but at the same time, when that happens, normally your back's against the wall, like we just speak, spoke to Mackin mm -hmm. before. Mm -hmm. And then we just went on full on attack, didn't we? And, and then it was the it counter was, attack it was actually, really worked. Yeah, it was, very it was well brilliant today. to watch as well. Normally, what you'd like to see is is attacking football with 11 men on the pitch, never mind 10. So 
before the 10 men, before things had got sent off. I mean, they, were, they, they wasn't struggling, they were just trying to get we a foot on the ball. It was a little bit cagey, we were trying to get the foot on the ball, we couldn't do it. They had a few chances. Uh, Sefton Gonzalez, he, you know, missed an open net, I don't know how he missed that one. So, you know, we did ride our luck today as well, but at the same time, when you do go forward and you do attack, you are going to create chances and you are going to have openings. So, and thankfully today, you know, at this end, the first half, Scott we finished that off. Here. We finished that off, and, and Scott coming back into centre midfield was a massive boost for us as well. I mean, his passion, his desire. Yeah, he gets his bookings, but you want to see that sometimes, don't you? That's what you want to be seen on the pitch. And basically, his quality. Nobody's ever knocked his quality. Nobody's ever said that he can't do this and he can't do that. And he's always the first man on the team sheet for me because of his effort and because of his quality as well and his crossing ability, his passing ability, his shooting ability, as we've seen today. And the fact that you know his goal, he took his goal brilliantly, and that was it was almost like a centre forward the way he took it, and he took it in his stroll as well. And it, the ball fell to him, but you need that kind of look sometimes. Um, obviously, the, the away side went down to ten men as well in the second half, but it didn't really stop Borough because they continued with the counter attack, and in the end, they had the chances to win the game, maybe four or five nil. No, but today it was just the two, and that's three points for the Boroughs. Run can slip up, Everton won, but they're still crawling, crawl, grabbing the points back and pushing towards promotion.